Rise and Shine Buttercup. Some of you guys might be watching this on your way to work during your daily commute, maybe. Maybe you have your cup of coffee in one hand, bagel in the other. Who's driving the steering wheel? It's your problem, not mine. What's going on? Matt Frazier here with another vlog for you. For your entertainment value. Sporting uh, my college here. They're in the final four tonight. Let's go Nova, baby. Bring that title back to Pennsylvania. Looking forward to watching that tonight. I'll be over at Tony C's over in Assembly Row in Boston. So uh, that's where you can find me. I know a lot of people are down in Houston for this uh, Final Four. It's going to be awesome, man. I'm very excited. So enough talk about the Final Four. What I want to talk about is what's going on in this dysfunctional L.A. Lakers locker room. Specifically with one D'Angelo Russell and Nick Young. D'Angelo Russell, oh boy, pulling a bitch move. Bitch move. Surreptitiously recording your teammate in what was in his mind, a private conversation. And then getting off on posting the video on social media. What the fuck were you thinking, pal? You know what? First of all, I don't know why the uh, head coach hasn't suspended this guy. For conduct detrimental to the team. If I was a head coach of that basketball team, he would be suspended at least three games. Why? Because, look, they're already talking about... Reporters are asking him, you know, how you would handle a situation if Nick Young uh, wants to fight you. And he's like, hey, I'll go physical with him. Well, you can't... That's not the type of environment you want to have in your locker room. I mean, this guy should be punished for what he did. And, uh, you know, if guys want to fight over things that'll maybe make them better on the court, that's fine. But, you know, I'll tell you right now, if I, have no, I would have no problem with Nick Young punching that guy square in the face. Absolutely no problem whatsoever. <sighs> Homeboy should be suspended for at least three games. I guess if you don't know the story, and he's apologized, and goddamn right he apologized. But uh, he recorded a, a, what was meant a private conversation. I don't know if it took place in the locker room or uh, someone's house, maybe. And Nick Young's, you know, playing PlayStation and not really paying attention, and D'Angelo Russell is, you know, prying into his private life and I guess he asked him a question about if he I, I don't know the exact words he might have been like hey did you hit that or but look because I don't have the transcript in front of me of what the dialogue actually was he probably asked him hey did you bang this uh, so and so and if you don't know who Nick Young is, Nick Young's claim to fame outside of basketball is that he's the boyfriend of uh, Iggy Azalea. So, you know, he's got a little bit of notoriety with that title there. So, you know, people are interested in this guy. And uh, D'Angelo Russell just uh, what a pulled a Bush League stunt. Nick Young was just answering some questions. You know, some people might think he was being braggadocious. But whatever his personality was during that audio or video recording, whatever it was, irrelevant. It's irrelevant. Guys, you don't record, or anybody for that matter, 
you know, this is, I think this sort of thing is going to become more prevalent as social media kind of permeates through society. And we'll probably see a lot more of these stories pop up of so-and-so uh, having things uh, end up on social media that they didn't want ending up. I mean, you know, it's just a Bush League stunt to pull something like that. I don't know this guy, but he's 20 years old, but it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad stuff. Another thing that kind of bothers me about it is, man, the way ESPN is re- is covering the story. I mean, they're actually like kind of, you know, I I, I like uh, Michelle Beadle. She's a sports uh, commentator for ESPN. She does a lot of um, talk stuff for them. She's a talking head for ESPN. She's kind of like a Stephen A. Smith type personality, Colin Coward. And in the past, I've seen eye to eye with her. I like she called out Stephen A. Smith back in the day, a couple of, about a year ago, for the for the way that he um, spoke about the whole Ray Rice incident when he, you know, smacked his uh, girlfriend and knocked her out in an elevator. And she went on Twitter and she called out Stephen A. Smith, and I thought that was, you know, I, I, you know, I agree with her. So, uh, I've seen eye to eye with Michelle Beadle in the past, but she's pretty much being the, uh, advocating for this guy, D'Angelo Russell saying, oh, what he did wasn't so bad or what he did was stupid, but he shouldn't be vilified. And he absolutely should be vilified. What he did was wrong. You know, she's she's like talking about it. Oh, well, he didn't, uh have a uh, dog fighting ring and he didn't abuse his girlfriend there's different levels of wrong I agree with you oh battery's low alright we gotta cut this short guys but uh, you know wrong is wrong and uh, this is something that's definitely warrants you know a team the team should step in and you know suspend the guy for a couple of games that's just my opinion on it uh that's how i would handle the situation but um yeah i mean look you know her argument is that oh well um nick young was the bad guy he shouldn't have uh, you know said or bragged about hooking up with some other girl <laughs> irrelevant it's absolutely irrelevant. You know, I don't care if he lives a life of Tim Tebow outside of, uh, you know, his professional life. Whatever it is, if he doesn't know he's being recorded and it's being put on the internet, that's wrong. Sure, oh, I almost stepped in puke. Wow. Anyway, you know, we got to recognize that because this sort of thing is happening a little too often. It's becoming a little too commonplace on... Uh, the Yahoo News articles. So, I don't know. I think it was a bitch move. It was a Bush League stunt. I don't know what you guys think. You guys want to uh, add any uh, anything to the conversation? Please do so. Uh, just uh, comment on the YouTube and uh, we'll uh, we'll go from there. And All right, guys. I'm going to call it a day. We got to go. Talk to you later.